As for my son does not like changes, she said. Um, Fundley even added that he prefers others to take his lead. And you know what? I really don't want to pressurize him. I take it easy with him. Mm, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> does this resonate with you in any way as a parent? Is it a good thing? Or do you think it's something you would like to change? The fact that your child does not take others' lead. Children on the autism spectrum are usually inflexible to changes. Is this something that would allow him to live a fulfilling life? If yes, be happy, be proud, it's okay. If not, how do you change it? What causes people to accept change? In NLP, the law of requisite variety states that the system or person with the most flexible of behavior will control the system. This means that the more flexible a person is, the more he can be an integral part of the society. This is the eventual goal you have for your child, isn't it? Well, these are some of the things that I do with my son that I've noticed that he's beginning to accept changes, even though slowly, but surely we're moving. First, expose him to different scenarios and subtle forms. Example, if he's used to sleeping on colored bed sheets and you wish to change it to white, for example, change first the pillowcase to white, then the sheet subsequently, and keep it same for a few days and gauge his reaction. Gauging his reaction here is key. To visit different places and take the lead initially so he knows you are in control. Then switch roles, praise him. It takes a lot to accept changes. Expose him to different types of clothes, then let him choose eventually, besides his growing older. Subsequently, give him gifts that are not the usual and praise him when he acknowledges them. That's the third one. Four, when you speak with him, use different interesting tonations and words so he knows that even words have variety. So it's not boring. Expose him to as many people as possible across different works of life. Take him with you whenever you're going out, whenever possible, I get it. <laughs> Your child learns best by modeling others. I know this may be cause, maybe sort of a tantrum, this is the sixth one, but attempt to change the roots during outings and change, um, so, sort of check for subtle changes, then slowly increase the distance with time. These will all open up the brain's neurological pathway and create less resistance to changes. When you introduce some flexibility in his life, how different will he function? If you don't, how different will he function? Do you envisage following the lead of a 30-year-old all the time only because he was not taught to also follow your lead? Will this serve you as you grow older? Wouldn't you rather pressurize him now than later? I know you're wondering how you can introduce flexibility and still have a routine. After all, routine is good for the children on the autism spectrum, right? I get it. It all depends on which side of the wall serves him. Flexibility or routine? Only routine. Think about it. You know your child best. See you soon.